Okay, Brandon, work on accuracy right here. Does your garage door look like the surface of the moon after playing a little catch with your kids, dents all over it? It doesn't have to be that way. They now make garage doors that don't show dents. If you want a garage door that won't show any dents, take a look at vinyl. This is a vinyl door built by Overhead Door, and it's really nice because if anything hits it, it takes the impact and then pops right back. Plus, if you get tired of the look of this door, you can replace the panels for a totally different look without buying a whole new door. One other great benefit is vinyl is a better insulator than a metal door would be, so your garage is going to be a lot nicer to work in. If you have a standard metal garage door, about the only thing between your garage and the cold north wind during the winter is a thin piece of sheet metal. On past episodes of Your New House, we've shown you how to insulate your garage door using foam. Today we'll look at the latest in factory made insulated garage doors made of galvanized steel. To get a better look at how these doors are put together, we're going to saw a section in half. Bobby Jones is with Clope, the company that made these doors. Well, Bobby, we can see the insulation between the metal there. Yes, we can. Now that you see how durable the door is. Yeah. What kind of R factor are we going to get out of a door like this? That's a 9.1 insulation. Wow, that's better than a lot of older homes. Actual yes, it walls. Is. Okay. Yes, it is. So we're going to be super insulated. Now, it's metal on both sides. So what prevents the heat or the cold from just traveling along the metal and going to the other side? Michael, that's a good question. What we do at Clope is we actually put a thermal break strip in the door right here, as you see. Okay, like a nice window frame. So. What's that made out of? It's a vinyl strip. It's made of vinyl. Vinyl between the two pieces of metal so that it's not actually metal to metal on both sides. That no, vinyl's going to separate no, it out. Okay. So we know we can't transfer hot or cold through there, but it looks like you brought a tester to prove the point. Correct. What we've got here, Michael, is we have a tester that's a voltage meter that will show that if metal touches metal, we'll actually get a reading on the meter. Okay. We've got two bare spots where we scratched away the paint. Correct. Touch those together. Yeah, we are getting a reading. So okay. it would transfer through here. Now will it transfer to the other side? We've got a bare spot over here. What we do, Michael, is we'll actually take and put it on the metal on the bottom, okay. metal on the top, and if we do, don't get a reading, what we'll have is we'll show that the true thermal break strip works. Okay, so it does work because we're not getting any reading. So if we can't transfer electricity through it, we can't transfer hot or cold. Exactly, yes. Okay. Great. This particular door also comes with enhanced weather stripping to keep the garage door sealed around the edges of the frame. And for safety, the leaded windows in the top panel are shatterproof. Wow, so the kids could hit a baseball against it or anything and it's not going to pop. Right, Michael, what that does, that gives you a very secure and very durable window. And of course, 40% of your home is actually covered by the garage door. So what that does is that gives you a nice curb appeal. I like it. Professionals can install one of these doors in about an hour, but if you're an experienced do-it-yourselfer, you can probably handle this job. Fully assembled, the door weighs close to 400 pounds. That's why all garage doors use a system of heavy springs for easy lifting. If you've ever installed a garage door yourself, you know that it's a lot of work to put the spring on. You need the spring to hold the weight of the door, but it's got a lot of tension and you've got to use a winding bar and you wind it and wind it and wind it to get it in place. With this clope pay system, we're not going to have to do that. They've got a torsion system that has a line drawn down it. It was a white line, it was straight. And as I turn it with the drill, you see that the line starts to move. Now once I can count the line 12 times, I know that I have enough tension on this torsion spring. And again, it's very simple. Just put the drill in here, start turning it. With those winding bars, there's always a chance that that spring would flip that winding bar into you, break your collarbone, or hit you in the face. With this system, just low speed, just start turning it, keep counting. Once you get to 12, like I said earlier, you're done. Once we get the spring torqued, we can raise or close the door with ease. So if you're looking to increase the level of comfort inside your garage, an insulated door just might do the trick.